Okay, are we live? Can you guys see me? Hello, guys? It's me, your boy, Devil Leon 7 Without the beard. Okay, I really hope chat works now. Okay, wait, let me delete the archive. Okay, you guys are here, but the chat still isn't working for some reason. Hold on. Chat, come on. Come on. Where are you at? Man, that one song from the karaoke stream is still stuck in my head. Uh, what's, what's it called? Ring, I think? Okay, well, um, I don't know what's wrong with chat. This happened before as well, and it was on the Resident Evil 2 stream, I think. I don't know what's up. Uh, yeah, I I don't know what's up with uh, the chat. Alright, well, um, I'm just going to continue playing, because I don't want to keep you guys waiting for too long. Okay, so, fellas, Resident Evil 3, a classic, cult classic game. Um, a lot of people have memories with this game, me included. And, yeah, I don't know what else to say. We're gonna jump right in. So, I'm probably gonna go with hard mode, or heavy mode, as this says. Infinite ammo? Hell no. Is everything looking good, guys? A city controlled by umbrella. Yo, Adrian, welcome. No one dared to oppose them, and that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions, but there would be All right. no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to fight. Fell asleep to your karaoke stream the other day. Let me guess, you fell asleep during a raindrops segment? My god. I am curious, like, how long raindrops alone took from that stream. Never played this game or the remake? Did anyone play the remake, but not the original? By any chance. Oh, the apocalypse. Man, look at the enhancement. Like, it looks so HD. Nice cross. Oh, the boys. Go, 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 go! Man, you know, I do like the remake. It is decent. But it definitely has flaws, which is unfortunate. I mean, the original isn't perfect either. But it's really good. Because the thing is, the original itself is pretty short as well. Maybe not as short as the remake, but it is short. Yo, <laughs> this guy. Like, the original... Uh, just had, had you play as Jill. You do play as Carlos for like one segment, but it's very, very... Short. 
Like, you play as Carlos in the remake more than you do in the original. And really, in that sense, the remake was faithful. Like, you just have one scenario. But the thing is, they could have added a lot, you know? And also, look! Whose suit is that? Yo, champion, welcome. September 28, iconic date. One of the things that... We've got to get out of here. What? What do you think you're talking about? I just lost my daughter out there. How dare you tell me to go back outside? I'm sorry about your daughter, but there isn't going to be any rescue. We have to get out of here. No! No! <laughs> I would starve to death in here, then be eaten by one of those undead monsters! Now leave me alone! Chat, what is one thing that makes you go, no! Like this dude. Could be anything. Some first aid, nice. <laughs> no, no, no. Man, what a theme. When my pizza has pineapple on it. You know, for all the memes about that, maybe I should try it one day. Flatting Ayaka's a game, understandable. <sighs> yeah, the, the voice acting in this game is definitely good. And then you have Carlos. <laughs> Not saying his voicing, voice acting is bad, but like, it's so goofy. Just so you know, I'm not into that pain and pleasure thing, okay? <laughs> Love Carlos in this game. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Turbo mode. Okay, we're good. Take it! Okay, most of the ammo is gone. I don't think we need to kill this guy. We, we can just... Or you know what? It took one shot. Not too bad. <clears throat> you know, you joke about Yakuza Dead Souls on PSP, but I still remember. Man, it could be one thing that I can add to the iceberg. Um, I remember, I think RGG Studios did like a benchmark for Dead Souls on the Vita. They had like one cutscene play on the Vita. And it was running pretty well, I think. Uh, man, I need to look that up. It's been a while. Uh oh. Someone got chewed. Okay, I hope I can make it in time. Come on. Uh, still at the beginning, Devos. How are you doing? 
Yeah, the screams. <laughs> okay, nice. Just in time. Excuse me, fellas. <laughs> Bold statement, Sharavi, but I respect it. Excuse me. That's something that I saw one YouTuber do. I'll try to do now. Brad! So if you... Like, I, th I don't think he can hurt you. He can j just keep doing that for the memes. And Brad will shoot right on time. That's what we're gonna find out this game, Jade. I think I need to go here. Brad's voice actor has a Twitch channel. Yeah, I've seen... Uh, who was it again? The actor for Chris and Welcome to Raccoon City also has a Twitch channel. A lot of people have Twitch channels now. Oh! Nice. Love this track, City of Ruin. Alright, line up, nice and slow. Oh! That's not what I wanted to do. Nice handgun, though. Wait, what the? Did you hear that? What was that about? Uh. I haven't heard about that, Adrian. What is that about? Yeah, it sounded like a shower. Oh, she got up. Uh, excuse me, I need to go through the door. Evil. Yeah. Yo, yeah, nice, Shiravi. Okay. Now we have two options. A Nemesis fight is coming up. I could try to do it with uh, the pistol. Though I don't know if I have enough ammo. No, I think I'm gonna have to use the shotgun as well anyway. Uh, we could use the gunpowder, but I don't know if I should. Um, uh, fun fact, by the way. So, if you combine eight of these, the gunpowder... Say, for example, the red one. The red one basically makes handgun ammo for you, right? If you combine... If you make ammo eight times individually, without combining the gunpowders, you're gonna have access to a secret ammo for the handgun. They're like black box rounds, and they're powerful. But it takes quite a while, and I don't know if it's worth it, so... I'll just mix this.
Yeah, same thing for the shotgun. You have secret bullets for the shotgun. Okay, well, I'm gonna save. <clears throat> yeah, maybe I could show it with a shotgun. Uh, let's hope I get enough. Hello, Douglas. Bye, Douglas. Okay, I might die. I went through this not too long ago, months ago, I think. And I think I did die here. I'm gonna try to fight him. Shit! Stars. <clears throat> okay, uh, the strat that I remember seeing is you shoot one or twice, once or twice, and then you run and fight, uh, repeat. Oh shit! Okay, I'm gonna try the strat that I have in mind and see how that goes. Oh shit! Wrong timing. It might take a while, but... What? Bruh, okay. Nice hitbox. <clears throat> okay, come on. Okay. I think I'm running to the wrong side of him, like I should run to this side instead, so he doesn't reach me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bro, I got another scam email. I've been getting a lot of these lately. Nice. Okay, I probably need to heal soon. Shit! Okay, time to heal. No! Okay, maybe this works. Yeah, maybe I was running too far away before. Oh! Okay. Oh. Okay. Guys, I think we're doing it. Uh oh. <laughs> Get up, Jill. Get up. Okay, I'm gonna wait for an attack. Oh, reload! No! Damn it, he used the other arm. Okay. No! Don't use that arm! No! What?! <laughs> Yo, Mazel, what's up? No. Okay, maybe we got this, maybe. I'm so greedy with my ammo, but we did it! Look! Okay, one more time, we get a new weapon. Now, this is the PC version. Let's go, first try. Oh, the theme. 
Okay, that was just using the handgun, thankfully. We saved some shotgun ammo. By the way, anyone else gets this stingy with their ammo when they play like a horror game? I'm always like, no! I can do this with my handgun. I'm gonna save the shotgun for later. And then I get to the end game and I have like 100 shotgun ammo. <laughs> okay, let's see the code. Four, three, one, two. <laughs> Glad to hear I'm not the only one. Had a week, uh, young. My pleasure, Superman. Welcome, dude. How are you doing? Look, who's that? I don't think he has anything on him. Yeah. Thank you, Devos. Thank you. How is he not dead? Good question. <clears throat> How is he not dead? Yeah, poor Marvin. One thing I like about Remake 2 is that they added more scenes for him. And there's one like in Remake 3 as well, but you know. I see you, buddy. When was the last time any of you got a scam email? The one I was just talking about during the Nemesis fight is like, Oh, you got payment forwarded to you. Yeah. Then why don't I see it in my fucking, like, SMS uh, messages? <clears throat> Uh So four three one two, I need to go back for the thing. I got a scam email before the stream. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the chat muzzle. We tried to fix it earlier, but it wasn't working. This happened when I was streaming Resident Evil 2 as well, I think. I don't know what's up with it. Well... <laughs> Ink Ribbon. I'm not sure, but I think there is a red herb in here. Like, at the end, but... Yeah, I don't know if that's worth it. Yeah, I am really looking forward to the remake. Uh, the thing about RE4 Remake is... If I, ha if I could pick... I don't think I would pick uh, Resident Evil 4 like, to be remade. I would pick something like Code Veronica. Maybe Dead Aim. Maybe. Uh, if that had the budget of like Resident Evil 2 Remake, I think it could be a really good game. Uh, but I, I know that I'm gonna get RE4 Remake and I'm gonna enjoy it. And, if, and even like if I don't like it, I do have the original to fall back onto. What about you guys? Oh yeah, Outbreak. Definitely. Outbreak. 
Like, when I was talking about potential remakes, I was talking more in line of the single-player games, but if we do include Outbreak as well, I think that's, like, my number one priority. Honestly, not even a remake, just give me a remaster with, like, function functioning um, online play. I just realized I got two of the cards. Okay, well, uh, we're gonna fight Nemesis soon again, so I'm probably gonna save here. Yo, Kiro, welcome. Yeah, same, Shiravi. Like, I hope Resident Evil 4 Remake is gonna be different enough from the original that it's kinda its own thing. But at the same time, I hope it does have, like, things that made Resident Evil 4 so good. Like, for example, Kr Krauser being in Resident Evil 4. I think that was one of the better parts. Um... And yeah, there's a lot of good stuff about Resident Evil 4. The exploration element in the village, I really hope that still stays in there. Like, the village felt alive, you know? You could check out houses, get eggs from chickens. <laughs> and find, like, treasure. So good. No ammo here? Okay. Yo, can Rob, welcome. Yeah, the bingo line. <laughs> Lines like that, I do hope, kinda stay as well. Yeah, Devos. From what we've seen in the trailer for Resident Evil 4 Remake, uh, they made it seem like Leon is still traumatized from Raccoon City. Which is, I think, like, it's interesting. An interesting direction to go into. Um, I want to see how that's handled. But at the same time, I really hope, like... They don't leave out what made Leon so... Like, so much of a fun character in the original Resident Evil 4. Just with his, like, random one-liners. Your right hand comes off. <laughs> Leon عمره 26 بالرابع سنة أكبر مني بس كارلوس maybe can rub um you know I think one kind of development they can give Leon in the remake they show him as this traumatized like still recovering a person from the trauma of Raccoon City. And as the game goes on, he starts, like, getting sick of all the shit that's happening around him. Like, man, I really hate these guys. And just starts cracking jokes at everything. Of course, I don't mean, like, every five seconds, but just as much as the original. That way, they can, like, I think, balance between the serious kind of aspect. And add in that cheesy charm. Okay, let's hope uh, we can get it. Maybe I should save and then fight him. I'll try that, actually. Stars. Any stars in the chat? Yeah, I'm down for new one-liners as well. Yeah, Mehran. Yeah, he's waiting for us. Okay, so, um... I have a bad feeling about this. He has a rocket launcher, so... <laughs> I'll do what I can. No, that's not what I wanted to do. What?! Is it? No, not yet. I can take one more hit, I think. No, no! No! Okay, maybe, maybe now I should heal. Yes, definitely!
Bro, okay. Fall down. Uh oh, okay. Oh! Okay, maybe I should use the grenade launcher. No! No! Holy shit! Okay, I almost died, but I guess that's worth it. Uh, well, I think we'll get a lot of heals, so it should be fine. No, this is in the base game, YOLO. Okay, uh, new weapon. We can leave this one. Anyone ever watched the Resident Evil Netflix series? I think you guys know that I already watched it. What about you guys? Did you hear? They decided to cancel season 2 for it. Unbelievable. When I heard that, I was shaking. <sighs> oh shit, I forgot about this guy. Good thing I didn't get bit. Mm. Was it better later on? No, not really. <laughs> Oh, it's night time, and look, he's gone! The, legit, the best bit about the whole show was Blade Wesker. I unironically like that. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, nice. I was actually thinking of skipping his body, but good thing we checked. Yeah, lovely. Alright, spicy. So yeah. More heals. Who plays Wesker? Uh, Lance Riddick. Revelations? You mean the game, right? Oh! Should I kill them? I don't know, honestly. Can I take this peacefully? Oh! Let's go! We're golden! Okay, now we have to kill these, I think. Or actually, no, not really. I, yeah, I like Revelations, if we're talking about the same Resident Evil Revelations. Uh, I like Revelations 1 more than 2. Okay, we have a lot of handgun ammo, nice. Uh, I think we can leave this, we might need this. Okay, I'm kind of an, what do they say, a neat freak, or an organized freak. I have to keep the handgun here, <laughs> first thing. Uh, OCD, yeah, I think that's the word. Hello, Douglas. Excuse me, Douglas. Uh oh. I think that guy had something on him. I need to go ch and check later on. Oh, who's that? I'll go ahead and take that, the, the herbs over there. Uh, 
You know, a good portion of my childhood, I was trying to figure out what Carlos was saying during that segment, and I still have no idea what he says. Oh! Love the headshot chance on this gun. What am I shooting? Uh-oh. Nice. <clears throat> have you have you played the Evil Within? Yeah, I played the first one. Um, a friend of mine gifted me the second one, and now that I'm streaming again, that's an excuse. Uh, like that's a perfect reason or excuse for me to actually play it. Man, I forgot all about it. Maybe we can play that next time. Um, are you crazy? Okay, before we... Oh, nice. I think we need to go to the save room. Yeah, I heard the second one is miles better than the first one. I played the first one and I... Half of the time I had no idea what was going on. Yeah, same suit. Welcome. How you doing? Okay, Carlos time. Which Carlos do you guys prefer? Remake or original? Good, good. Original, remake, Carlos, remake. What's that? Calm down, lady. I'm no zombie. My name's Carlos, Corporal of Umbrella's Biohazard Countermeasure Force. What's your name? Jill, did you just say you belong to Umbrella's army? Yeah. We came all the way out here to save you civilians. But the mission went bad the minute we Michigan left. report from hell. Uh oh. What would you guys do? Run into the basement, hide inside the kitchen. Over here. <laughs> Confused nemesis. Crazy? You could have barbecued both of us. Yeah, Jill. Here we go. Free item. Okay, I'm thinking of killing him because that's gonna save us some headache. Nemi? Alright, Carlos, I'm counting on you. Ho ho ho! The. Carlos, help! <laughs> uh oh, gotta reload. Okay, nice. No, Carlos. <laughs> I 
I think if Carlos dies, he get a game over. Oh, let's go. Okay, well now at least he's not gonna like hunt us down in the suites, so I wanted to get that out of the way. Yes, Carol. Wait. I have to ask you something. Uh oh. I know. You wanna ask me out? All the foxy ladies love my accent. It drives them crazy. Oh what? Keep dreaming. <laughs> Tell me, why did Umbrella send your team in? We're here to rescue the civilians. Don't lie to me. Umbrella is the reason why this whole mess began. Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. Do you really think the master would tell his dogs why they have to retrieve the stick he just threw? If you want answers, you should talk to someone this else. This is the PC version. Maybe not with Umbrella. <laughs> Believe it or not, we're only here to rescue the civilians. If you can trust me, then help us. Think about it. Think about it. <clears throat> okay, well, uh... Should I? No, I don't think we need to save just yet. 69 viewers? Nice. I think there's some hidden ammo here. No? Wait, I could have sworn. Hold on. Aha! Uh -huh, sneaky! How do you guys feel about uh, items like this? Like, no indication whatsoever. Just, uh... I guess a reward for you checking literally everything. <clears throat> First aid. You know, one game that I kind of have been wanting to stream, I, I don't know why, I just remembered it, like, I was thinking about it, like, a few days ago, and today, when I was thinking about, like, what to stream, it, it just evaporated. Has anyone heard about Martian Gothic? Yeah, Devos. I know what you mean. It's a PS1 game. A... Resident Evil clone, if you will. It's Resident Evil in space. And man, it's bad. It's bad, bad. <laughs> oh, nice. Like, it's clunky. Uh, game design wise, it's horrendous. Uh, some key items that you want to, like, find. You have to actually, like, check every pixel. Uh, if you want to try to solve a puzzle, sometimes you have no fucking indication of what to do. And man, it's uh, a special kind of suffering. But I think it could be fun for a stream. Yeah, like, if you play that game without a guide, good luck. Oh yeah, Illbleed. That's another game that I want to play, actually. Man, I watched a streamer play Illbleed. Holy shit, that's such a charming game. <laughs> Okay, no one heard about um, Martian Gothic. What about Illbleed? Lily knows it, for one. Anyone else? Illbleed is very fun from what I've seen. Illblade is basically, um, you go into this theme park that is horror-themed, and basically you go into, like, these movie-based attractions, and each movie is, like, uh, different and unique. And, like, um, 
each movie has you go through different like scares and whatnot. And it has like a storyline as well for each movie. It's pretty uh interesting. Can I go to the gas station now or no, no, not yet. Yeah, kinda. Never played Lost Planet, I don't think, but I heard the name. Yeah, Survivor. How do you guys feel about Resident Evil Survivor? I think there's more something here. Yep! Hidden stuff. 14 shotgun shells, too. Uh-oh. Survivor is a game, right? You're one of the survivors from the rescue team, right? I just ran into your teammate, Carlos. Hey, Nemesis. How did it go? It's your game. Ordinary civvy. I'm a member of STARS. STARS? STARS. You mean the RPD Special Force Team? Uh. Hey, is someone wounded back there? Which Nikolai do you feel is better, this one or the remake? Oh, this looks bad. Oh, they're coming. Get ready. Uh, uh, fire. Fire! Fire! Shake together! Calm down. You're safe now. Everything is gonna be okay. Neither. Remake. Remake. So, Jill, did you decide to help us out? It looks like we're the only ones who survived. We should work together. Can't trust her. Why? But Sergeant, we need her help. Our unit's down to you, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. And Mikhail's hurt bad. If we don't cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. True, he has a point. Fine. Then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. That's a lot of ground to cover. I, I don't think we can make it on foot. The main problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. Good plan, sir. Okay, people, let's get moving. What a capable Just leader. This on. Oh yeah, I needed the crank. I need to go back to the save room for that. No! no! Okay. That wasn't too bad. <clears throat> oh! Hello, sir. I'll take this. And I'll leave. No! Oh no. This could be messy. Oh, you bitch! <laughs> nice, Jill! Okay, I need the crank, so I need to go back to the save room. Though I think... Yep. Oh, nice. Holy, the headshots!
Um, okay, well, while I'm, I'm at it, I'll take these to the save room as well. You mean that door segment is a speedrun killer? Yeah. You heard that door? I think if you go just a bit ahead, you can hear Carlos running. No! Uh... Nice. Um, overall, probably this. Dark Master. I do like the remake, but... Yeah. I think if they just added mercenaries in... Uh, the remake, that would... I'm not saying that would fix every other problem, but... It would make the remake feel... What the f... Hello, guys. Shit! It would make the remake feel less, um... Empty. Wasn't remake made by the B team? I think it was outsour outsourced even. Uh, they gave it to another company. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. Uh, and the reason that I'm not too afraid for Resident Evil 4 Remake, two reasons. One, it's made by the team that made Resident Evil 2 Remake, so... At the very least, he can kinda rest assured that it's gonna be decent at the very least, even if it's not complete. And two... Um, like one streamer said, Resident Evil 4 is like the most important Capcom game. If they fuck that up, God help them. The zombies are getting restless. I know. I can hear them. What's going on? What's going on? Jill! Carlos! They're coming. They must have sniffed us out. They know we're here. Hey, calm down. Any objections to my playing hero this time? Carlos, come doing? on. Carlos! Carlos! Get back here. <laughs> uh, the voice acting. Carlos! Same, it's okay. This scene is so hilarious, like... Man, I can't believe Carlos is dead. Relax. I'm not dead yet. Are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, that hero stuff is harder than it looks. Okay. I'm gonna scrounge up some equipment. There might not be any at our destination. <laughs> what happened there? Like... Was that supposed to be fatigue or something? Uh... <laughs> oh, the, the the sounds of this puzzle so good. Bow, bow, bow. Last one, come on. Let's go. We're out of here. 
Uh oh. Run, Jill. Man, the cutscenes look so clean. Like, compare the CGI here to the PS1 version, for example. Yeah, about that. How would you guys feel if Lewis was playable in a segment in Resident Evil 4? Like, legit, I don't think I would mind. I would love that. Um... You know when Leon gets to the castle and Lois is like, oh shit, I lost the sample. If you play as him there for a bit, I think that would be sick. Or if not in the main story, I feel like if they had some kind of separate ways mode for Lois, I'll take it. <clears throat> also, since the original didn't do it, they could add him to mercenaries. Assuming that's going to be in. Okay, so we got one red, two, three. Um, there is something optional that we can do. I think I'm gonna do it. I think we can leave this. I'm not gonna save just in case. Don't jinx it. If you had to pick one character, who do you think, like, is that one character that if they cut out of the remake, it's gonna affect the game so much? More than cutting any other character. Would it be Lewis or would it be someone else? Bro, really? Ada. Okay, obviously Leon is gonna be there, come on. <laughs> Other than Leon and Ada, we know that both are in. Merchant. So, let's say Merchant is in. But they cut Chrysler. Would you guys think that would be okay? Why did I come here? Dr. Salvador. You know, Chrysler is cool, but... Have you guys heard them in Darkseid Chronicles? Holy shit, that's actually unbearable. Uh-oh. I mean, like, when you play as him, um, in the scenario, and you hear his thoughts, it's so fucking bad. <laughs> Same, generic. Okay, well, we have the battery, uh... Oh yeah, we do need the wrench for a little something. Chainsaw Sisters, oh man. The Chainsaw Sisters, like, used to be some of the scariest things for me. In the game, in the whole thing. Dr. Salvador in general.
Oh! I'll... No! Oh, I should probably kill them all now, or something, I don't know. Let me just take this. Let's go! Uh, age after the Valfa. I think I'm going to play Dead by Daylight tonight in the stream, a little Um... Would you guys like to see some Musk or gameplay in Dead by Daylight at the end of the stream? Nice, okay. Yeah, they added uh, uh, the the new Resident Evil chapter came out yesterday in Dead by Daylight. Wesker is killer. Um, they added uh, Ada and Rebecca as survivors, and they also have a hunk skin for another killer. Uh oh. For Legion. I'm still not sure how I feel about that. Like, my problem with the Hunk skin is that it's $15. It's more expensive than the Resident Evil chapter as a whole. Like, when I say Resident Evil chapter, it's like a DLC. It comes with Wesker. Rebecca and Ada, right? Hunk, a skin, is $15. The DLC is $12.5. And even then, they could have done better with the Hunk skin. Like, he doesn't have his own voice. And the music is... Uh, the, the, the killer is music. They didn't add, like, a unique theme for him. Uh, what was I missing again? Yeah, well, uh, I can keep this for now. I'm gonna save again. Okay, before we go to that door, I want to go somewhere else. Hey guys. Excuse me. I don't know if I have enough ammo. No. Oh! I totally forgot about that. Damn. Oh shit, she died! She's dead. Okay, so the thing that I wanted to go back to first... This guy. <clears throat> so... You find him chewed, chewed up by zombies over there. I don't want to go there because I'm gonna have to fight them. But yeah, you can come back here for like extra gunpowder, which is cool. Uh, you can't do that in the remake. By the way, I just noticed something. She only has one shoe. Uh, nice detail, I guess. 
Thank you. Enjoy the game. Wait, was it? Oh man, I'm so confused. Dogs! Oh, we have zombies here now? Oh shit. Um, if we have the crank, we can get extra ammo here, but I don't... I can't remember where you get the other crank. Whoa. Uh oh, this room is gonna be... Oh! Easy! Okay, I'm gonna store my items and then we can go to that door over there. Yeah, I enjoyed the remake as well, but again, like... There's so many segments where, like... You get pushed onto a situation and then you just run. I don't think we need all those blue herbs. Oh, there's the crank. Well, we can go back, but I don't know if it's worth it. No! Oh! I'm injured. Uh oh. What did you do? I had no choice. Alayna Malik, hello. Welcome, sir. Would have been a threat, so I eliminated it. But he was still conscious, wasn't he? He was as good as dead. Yeah, this is on hard. And it took fewer bullets to kill him now than it would have if he had transformed. Every enemy is a nemesis. We're never gonna finish from that. Like I know these games, uh, generally speaking, but. Uh. I feel like I wouldn't stand a chance. Where's the remote? Add Ravel. Maybe I should go get ammo. No. Okay, I really hope I don't end up dying. It's gonna suck. Oh, more gunpowder. Guys, I think we can make the secret ammo. Nice. Nightbot is silent. He's gone. He's not with us anymore. Nightbot is dead. I removed him. Get ready to hear the best scream in the whole game. Coming soon. After the cutscene. I really hope I have enough. Nine bullets. No, <laughs> please. Oh, come on. No! Oh, bro, come on! Okay, okay. I thought that was gonna get me to danger, but we're good. 
Yeah, glad you guys enjoyed the Nikolai voice acting. Adam Allah This is Resident Evil 2. Uh, sorry, 3. Uh oh. Save room! Okay, well, I'm glad I got to the save uh, room first, uh, at least. Okay, um, we can make the secret ammo now. Okay, so we need eight of these. Actually, let me combine the gas first. Wait, do we have eight of these? Uh, we have six, I think. Oh, no. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, so, watch this. Maybe it's not worth it, but for demonstration's sake. Let's show you guys. Will you create the enhanced ammo? Yeah, baby. Look at that. Blue shells. I don't know if we have eight of the red ones, but we'll check. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, we can. Okay. Let's show you guys the secret handgun bullets. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. Well, there they are. Look at that. You can only use this on uh, Jill's handgun. You can't use it on the eagle. The Sig Pro. You don't get that as Jill. Uh, Carlos has it. Uh, yeah, this is for the shotgun, the default one. Okay, well, we could have made, like, ice rounds, but I guess we have the secret ammo, at least. Um... I could go back for the grenade launcher ammo as well. Uh, we, we can get some. I have a lot of handgun ammo now, so maybe we, we should do it. Okay, so let's demonstrate this. Um, I'm gonna use the eagle, I guess. It's way faster. I'll save as well. Is it? I hug El Qatar. I think Nemesis is supposed to drop something now, right? If I'm not mistaken. Okay, let's... Let me take a heal item. I'll take this, actually. I don't know if this is a good idea, but... Oh, they're gone! Please tell me the next room is empty as well. Yeah, Adrian, that's one way to look at it. Uh-oh. He has zombies! There. Yeah, who are you gonna shoot now, huh? Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, let's give these try a try. Oh! You hear that crisp sound? Uh-oh. Should I... 
Heal! Nice. Uh, come on. No. Oh. Okay, this is gonna be a second shotgun. We can take it. Hello. Okay, well, this should help a bit. So I think the next time we fight him is when we're close to the train. Gonna have to be ready for that. take the grenade launcher or maybe the normal shotgun rounds for the next nemesis fight I'm not sure oh yeah we also need to go to the power station or whatever it's called uh... oh nice it just takes all the ammo um... inventory management 101 I can leave this. Uh... Okay, well, uh... wait. I guess we don't need to take the train stuff now. Alrighty, thank you. Any Yakuza 8 news? No, nothing yet. The game pass? Mind the Xbox. I don't know if I tried that, Devos. I remember getting Platinum on Resident Evil 1 Remake. And then I tried for Resident Evil 0, but man, hard mode on that game is bullshit. Oh. Not sure gaming. Maybe we can do, uh, what's it called? Code Veronica? How would you guys feel about that? I like Code Veronica. Resident Evil 6, the best RE? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> you guys want to watch a bunch of quick time events? Followed by more quick time events? Uh oh. Flashbang! Yes. <laughs> uh oh. I forgot about these guys. Uh oh. Alright, since this is like a, a road that goes up, they puke on you. I can't remember, Devos. Um, we might do an Ammon Marathon at some point. Can I shoot the... Hello? I guess not. Oh, maybe it's because... It's kind of lower than where I am. Yeah. Well, I think that killed one zombie.
Nightbot, new HD. Yeah, where is new HD? Okay, so this puzzle, I actually don't know the exact answer to. So we're gonna be doing it together. Okay, let's try red, red, blue, blue, nope. Okay. Red, blue, blue, blue. Oh. Okay, let's... We, we still have a second door, so... Red, 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 blue. Oh! Now that's a pro gamer move. Use. Uh oh. Okay, I think the Magnum should be here. Oh, hell yeah! Okay, we're ready to leave. Same suit. His expression shows insane agony and pain. Caption this, chat. When do you feel the same way? Me, when we do ranger ups for the 10th time. Okay, well, I think we're ready to, we're ready to leave. Red herbs? I mean, green herbs? Where you at? Uh, a revolver or a dragon? Yeah. No! No! Oh, my fucking fingers, man. Well... I don't think that's a huge loss. I say, and watch me like needing one more like health item at the end. <laughs> no, but I, I really do think we have a lot. We should be okay. Keyword should. Uh we could use the shotgun, but I'll just bring all these. Na, na, na. And we are set. Do any of you remember the last time you did an oopsie like that? Like you had a decent item in a game and then boom. You either like discard it or you consume it or something happens. They're eaten. I would restart. Yeah, it really depends on what you lose, but I think... Hello, sir.
Come on. I'm gonna try the grenade launcher for a bit. No! Okay. Should I? Or should I not? I don't know. Remake the Thalith? Hello, but no slash, yeah. Okay, I'll heal now. Nice, okay. What? No, what? I keep hearing the dodge sound, but none of it gets dodged. Oh! Okay, we can make a new shotgun now. Does Konami make that much money from Pachinko? Good question! Like, I've always wondered. I have no idea. Does anyone know? No. No, it's... Oh, well, that works. They make Hack Dino Crisis? Well, I are it. Guys, who wants a remake of Dino Crisis? Who would play a Silent Hill themed pachinko machine? Would you guys watch a pachinko Silent Hill stream from me? From me? No, no, Jill, get up. Oh my god, dude. Jill, please work with me. There we go. Okay, well. That wasn't too bad. Pachinko Silent Hill stream, no damage, 100% completion. Yeah, baby. Do, 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 do. Okay. Would you make an ASMR one hour raindrop video? Maybe. Okay. Uh, Nikolai? Won't be joining us. I understand. F in the chat for Nikolai. I'll operate the cable car. Let's go. He was a good man. No. Don't come any closer. Stay away. It's looking good. Okay, clock tower time. Yeah, he's here. Uh oh. Yo. <laughs> All right, who's ready to see some Chad moments? Hey, Isaac, how you doing? I'm good. Uh oh. Nemesis, what are you doing here? Get out of the cable car now. 
Mihail, wait, don't! Get out of here! Hurry! Oh, oh. Isn't he awesome, guys? <laughs> Mikhail. Yeah, I think this is a remaster mod that I'm using. No, the brakes are out. It makes the CGI look so good. Uh oh, flashbang. It's useless. <laughs> Poor Carlos. <laughs> Poor Mikhail. Oh, more gunpowder. Sahab to the break. I think it's a lot. Nishrid my Carlos, my dick for now. Okay, well, I want to come back here for the gunpowder, so. I think this is a save room right here. I don't think there's wrong options in this. Okay, so, new shotgun! I'm gonna use this one first to empty the bullets and then... Fellas, who grew up with this absolute beauty of a theme? Anyone else? Devil Leon, did you cut some of your beard? You look different with that? No. This is how it's always been. I don't have enough slots, shit. I grew with Tekken, same. Hey, Cost, welcome. Yo, Def, how you doing? Uh, does anyone remember how you make ice rounds? Because I forgot. Do you need, like, uh, two blue stacks or just one? Da -da -da. Favorite Resident Evil game? I don't know, to be honest. That's good to hear, Def. Thank you, thank you. Um, hold on, I'll look it up real quick. Resident Evil 3, how to make ice rounds. Two sea powders? Yeah. Okay, we can make some then. Oh, blue! We have a lot of... Let me take that. Um...
I think that's good. Wait, do we have an ink ribbon? No. Man, I forgot about that game, honestly. Uh, Slitterhead. Uh oh. Carlos. Well, we both managed to survive. <laughs> Maybe we can start helping each other again. Yeah, it's been rough, but we can rest now. No, we're the only ones left. There's no rest for the wicked. True. Here's a gift for you. Yo, more ice. I hope I actually get to use them. Because again, usually I'm like, no, I don't need to use them. I can do it without them. I'm gonna go to the save room again. I have a lot of shit. I'll do a little mixing. Okay, new shotgun. Yeah, Carol, that's me in a nutshell. What headphones? I think they're Hyper Cloud or Hyper X or something. I'm, I can't remember. The Mine Thrower. Crawlers. Takami. I'll save here. Oh, I don't need the mine thrower just yet. Hey, what? She don't answer. Okay, we're going to the roof. Yeah, it did have costumes. Uh, I think on the PS1 you had to unlock the boutique key. But on the PC you can just select costumes from the beginning. Oh, spiders! How did this one not die? Hold on, red herbs. Yeah, look at where we are. Yo, mind darts. Okay, we can do some mixing. Yeah. <sighs> 
right now for an epic puzzle. Okay, that's... Any cat gems? No? No, we, we take it up. That's more like it. Beautiful! Chronos chain. Okay, we have another puzzle coming, and that one I actually don't know like the f exact answer for, so we might have to sit through that as well. Uh oh. <laughs> now there is a funny option and an efficient option. Uh. Fuck it, the funny option. Ugh. Jill, an absolute beast. Just fucking heated Nemesis off the building. <laughs> um... Uh oh. Spooder. More mind arts. Yeah, Mehran. It's okay. Okay, this is the fabled puzzle. We have three stones, and we need to make the timer. Timer is stop at the right time. Uh, was there a file that indicated like where does it need to stop? Because I can't remember. Okay, not this one. <laughs> Yo! When I played this a few months ago, I kind of got to a point where I was like, man, let me just open a guide. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Okay, um... Look at that hidden item. I'm hungry, man. Eat. Any options?
Okay, well, uh, we have a shit ton of grenade launcher ammo already. Maybe I should use the mine thrower, I don't know. I'll take the first aid case. And I will save. But first, let me put this. Time to escape. You're saved. Down here. It's finally over. Uh oh. Huh? Shit. He did it again. Will someone give him his stars already? Uh-oh. Yo, thank you! Thank you for the seven months, Mr. Devil. How you doing, sir? Well... Well... Oh, <laughs> nice. Well, the dodges. Let's go. <laughs> we do a little trolling. Oh shit! Maybe I should heal. Well, oh, we did it. <laughs> yeah. Now you know how it feels for me to run out of ammo. Oh, no, 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 no. no. We do a little... Oh. No. Unexploded mines? There's still one? Where is it? Sure, I guess. No! I'll heal. Let's go!
He is tanky, yeah. <laughs> Jill. Here is our Jill. boy. Hang in there. What have I done? I'm sorry, Jill. Please wake up. Jill. 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 First night. I woke up to the sound of <clears throat> Why did it go into the fire? Good question. <laughs> OG or remake, Carlos? I don't know, honestly. Maybe I'll take the remake one. A lot of people here said remake as well. I guess overall remake. When we originally met, huh? Don't worry, Jill. This chapel is safe. I've been infected by the virus. Haven't I? Hey, take it easy. I'm okay. Don't feel any pain. But that's what bothers me. If I can't feel anything, then what does that mean? Don't give up, Jill. I'll take care of you. Whatever you do, don't let that virus beat you. Yo, Scrivo, how are you doing? All right, we play as Carlos. Let's go. How do you guys feel about uh, playing Gas Carlos more in the remake? I thought that was cool. Oh shit. Dude, I... Please don't do this to me. Yeah, I liked the remake hospital as well. Now the question is, if they remake Outbreak, are they gonna use the remake hospital as well? Uh oh. Did they? I didn't notice, Carol. Okay, nice. Healing item, finally. <clears throat> Was that an Amogus on the wall poster? What, this one? Are you for a stream? We can do that too, yeah. Um, today I was kind of torn between four things. Yakuza 7, like the story playthrough, just revisiting the game again. Um, or Judgment on the PS5. Or this game. Or Silent Hill 2. But I kind of wanted to go with Silent Hill 2, but the thing is, I remembered it very late. And... Uh, I don't have the enhanced edition yet, so we would have played the PS2 version. First round. 
Code Veronica? Yeah, we definitely can do that too. Uh, Silent Hill 4. Oh yeah, I still didn't buy that one. It's on GOG, right? There also appears to be a slight fracture in his right arm just below the However... I think so, Screeve, I'm not sure. Uh, ten bucks. Damn. Uh oh. Final boss rage montage. <laughs> Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Uh oh! Idea. Another guinea pig was still alive. What are you doing? Have you lost your mind? Yeah, man. It's easy to forget one's loyalties. Just like that traitor. You mean the guy who shot you? Yeah, you know him. The one with the gray hair and ugly mug. I can't believe he had the guts to shoot me. That traitor! You mean Nikolai? Uh oh. <laughs> look at Tyrell here and look at him in the remake. Like, it's one of the things that they did better in the remake. One of the few things, but I like Tyrell in the remake. <laughs> you know, if they, if mercenaries was a, was a thing in the remake, imagine like it could have been Carlos, Mikhail, Nikolai. They could have added Tyrell. And if they wanted to, maybe Murphy, even though Murphy just fucking dies in the remake as well. Okay, uh... Puzzle time. <laughs> okay, so if I remember right... Oh! Oh, wait, never mind. Reverse? Maybe, depending on what they do with it. Man, Reverse, like, it rubbed me the wrong way, because after a delay of, like, over a year, you would have thought, oh, okay, may well, maybe they, they're gonna add, like, a shit ton of content to it. But when they showed it at the Capcom showcase, like, a few months ago, they were like, oh, by the way, guys, after we showed you, like, the Resident Evil 8 DLC, the Resident Evil 4 announcement, um, Reverse is coming later this year as well. Uh, that's it. Thank you. Bye. Like, they literally showed it for, like, 10 seconds. Man. I hope I remember this. Let's go. Like, if they added, I don't know, new characters, maps, uh, just anything new. Um, would have been nice, but no. Oh, nice. Hello, Tyrell. Man, it feels so good running with a pistol in this game. You feel so light. Uh oh. Not these guys, damn it. Can I pick up the herbs, damn it? Yeah, um... You know... 
I say everything that I said about Reverse coming from someone who actually found enjoyment out of uh, Resistance. I like Resistance. It, like, Resistance has a lot of cool ideas, but the execution was a little... Eh. Because, like, let's take the characters for example, right? The characters in Resistance were like perfect Outbreak 3 material. I found the designs to be really good, well made, and just, like, yeah. Like, that. that's, those designs screamed, like, yeah, those are people living in Raccoon City at that time. Uh, but we get a fucking asymmetrical game instead. <laughs> I mean, it was okay, but again, if it was like a co-op game instead of a PvP game, it would have been miles better for me. I don't know why Capcom doesn't learn. Like, how many PvP games have they made compared to co-op games? They never fucking learned. Like, none of the PvP, PvP games that they made ever succeeded. And yet someone at the office is still like, Yo, guys, let's drop another hit PvP Resident Evil game. It will surely succeed this time. <laughs> Holy... Like... Capcom does such a good job sometimes, but then it comes to things like this and you're like, What the fuck are these guys thinking? Like, you would think after like three or four PvP games they would learn, but... Surprisingly not. Yeah, I have no idea why chat is not showing up. I tried to fix it earlier, but it's not working. Okay. Yeah, Devos, that's that's a good way of putting it. Like, Resistance had pretty good maps as well. Like, you know, the casino, um, and I think there was, like, some kind of art museum or something like that. It had all the right ingredients for an Outbreak game, and then they wasted. My goodness, Capcom. But then again, I guess it did take them a while to say, oh yeah, our fan base clearly wants Resident Evil 2 Remake, so uh, let's do it. It took them years. So, uh, who knows? Maybe eventually we, we will get like an Outbreak game, but like 20 years from now. Have you guys seen the... Um, God damn it. Have you guys seen the the Resident Evil Outbreak remake concept uh, pictures? A fan made some kind of like uh, pictures showing how an Outbreak remake would look like. They are so fucking cool, my god. If you guys haven't seen them, I I'd be glad to show you. Yeah, hold on. Though, be warned, you might be close to shedding a tear or two when you see it. Here we go. Every time I see it, I cry a little on the inside. Alright, you guys ready? Where are you? Here you are. Okay, let me just fix it. The image is huge. Okay, ready? Don't cry, okay? Try not to cry challenge. Look at that. Man. 
the things that we could have, but we don't because they never fucking learn. Like, they've had Operation Raccoon City, which, yeah, I guess it did have a story. A story. But it was kind of, eh. And then they give us Umbrella Corps. And then they give us, what, uh, Resistance? Granted, Resistance does have, like, great ideas. And then we get Reverse. And then they never fucking learn. Like, look at this. The things that we could have. Imagine you play shit like this with your friends or something. Or even with just randoms on online, like... Man. Again, the shit that we can get, but we don't, because they don't learn. Ugh. Okay, well... Hello? Push, thank you. Oh yeah, what was the password? Hold on, let me check the doctor. One oh four. Yeah, Divas, definitely. Like, I still can't believe it took them this long to realize that oh shit. Um uh, remakes and you know the old games make us a lot of money, so let's try to make goodness out of those. Maybe some at some point they'll realize like maybe outbreak is gonna make us a lot of money. Oh shit, look who's back. Did you guys miss them? <laughs> What now? Okay, I hope I'm ready for... Uh-oh. Come on, no, 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 no. Please close, please. <sighs> Fuck, do I have to? Yes, I do. Hello? Oh my god. I hate hunters so much. <laughs> no, N no, no, you don't. Okay, um, I have a lot of heals, I think. I just hope uh, I can kill Nemesis. How many nude HD fans do we have in the chat? Press 1 if you are. Do you think we're gonna see Yakuza 8 reveal at TGS? One would hope, but honestly, I don't know. Apparently, uh, I think someone uh, dropped by to tell us that it's not gonna show up at TGS a stream or two ago. So, I don't know. Maybe it is gonna show up, maybe not. Uh-oh. Love this cutscene. Come on. Come on. <sighs> Got Onimusha. Nice. Did you get it on Steam? I want to play Onimusha. I. God, I don't know why I keep forgetting, like, there's Onimusha, Evil Within, Final Fantasy VII Remake. I can play all of those. Nice. Uh-oh. Okay. Wish me luck. I'm gonna try to kill him so Jill doesn't have to deal with him. Oh! 
You know what? I'm gonna use a heal now. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goof up like that, yeah. AI, I love you right now. Let's go! I don't know what the fuck he was doing, but uh, that works. <laughs> I think maybe he was trying to go for Jill. I don't know. I just remembered that that might be a thing. Okay, Jill, we did it. Yeah, I got so lucky. I'm okay. What happened to you? <laughs> I just fought with that monster. Uh, I've got some bad news. Nikolai's still alive. But I thought he was dead. <laughs> that guy doesn't know the meaning of the word dead. What is he after? I don't know. All I know is that he is our enemy. I'm sorry, Jill, but there's something I gotta take care of. I promise I'll meet up with you later. But don't worry. But don't worry. Okay, uh... I have a lot of ammo. I think I have less heals than ammo. Um... I guess I'll save. Actually, no, I don't think I need to. We'll get to the save room soon. Uh-oh. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. Nemesis! Forgive me! I'll grab a heal or two and try to kill him. Yo, let's put the ice rounds to use. Okay. I'll take another heal. Oh! Uh oh! Holy shit! Ice is so good against him. Oh! Hell yeah, Jill! That's what I'm talking about. Uh oh! <laughs> yo yo! No! Get up, Jill! Jill! Uh oh. Let's go! What is this? Oh, another first aid box. I'll take it. Yeah, Scrivo. I never dodge on purpose, by the way. If it happens, I'm lucky. Uh, there's, I think, like a, like an instance or two where you, you can dodge automatically. So if you get hit, um, I think you have a better chance of dodging. Or wait, no, no, that's not how it works. Uh, well, I think if you get grabbed by a zombie, for example, and then you throw him off, and then another zombie grabs you right after, I think an automatic dodge happens. Um, and also, if you shoot at the same time that you're being attacked, that's also a dodge. Uh, you can do that, or you can, I think, do a quick turn while being attacked, that's also a dodge. Or a push. There's multiple ways. Oh wait, was there something here? No. No enemies. Oh, I need the lockpick, I think. Fuck. Well, we have a closed save room. That's not the chapel. Uh, 
By the way, who in the chat plays Dead by Daylight? I think there's an item in one of the lockers. Let me check. Oh, nice. I have so much grenade launcher ammo. God damn. I don't know if I need the lockpick now. I want to play it more. Started playing with Shirabi. Nice, dude. What do you think so far? Honestly, do I even need the handgun at this point? I have so much, like, non-handgun ammo. I didn't even use the special handgun ammo, hold on. Let's put that to the test of it. Mr. Devil Leon 7, stop wasting ammo! No. Okay. Check this out. Oh! Let's actually use it on zombies. Free knockback. Uh oh. So, like, the secret bullets are okay, but eh. Not worth it, honestly. I don't think. I bring big news. RGG will have a teaser trailer next week. Wait, was it you that said there w weren't going to be news in TGS uh, a stream or two ago? If there is going to be something good, uh, I'm all for it. Scrivo, you know, thank you for bringing that up. That is one of the biggest lies of Resident Evil. Uh, I don't blame people for thinking that, but... All of the Resident Evil games, including the classic ones, 1, 2, 3, they have a shit ton of ammo. You could use all of... Like, you could kill every enemy in the game, games, 1, 2, 3, and you're still gonna have an abundance of ammo. Oh, shit. No, you son of a bitch! Okay, well... He dodged! Like, honestly, I will admit, I was one of those people that are like, Ah! Oh, Resident Evil 4, 5, 6 are shitty. Because the classics, you actually struggle, but... Really? No, it's not like that. <laughs> at all. <laughs> Wait, uh... I think people just remember things a certain way, because when you play these games for the first time, obviously you're not going to know a lot of details. Um, and like, item placements. You don't know what's coming up, or what's, you know, how many bullets you need, so you just probably use everything you have at the beginning. Or as in the classic ones. Yeah, now people would consider that a classic, but man. Do you remember when 4 came out? People were like, man, what the fuck is this shit? This is trash. This is not Resident Evil. This is Call of Duty. Was it? No. 
4 came out in 2005. 2004 for GameCube. But then on the PS2, I think where it was way more popular, it was in 2005. But I assure you, Resident Evil 4 got so much shit, just like 5 and 6. But then over time, people were like, hey, Resident Evil 4 wasn't too bad, guys, come on. So... Oh, okay, I see. Oh, wait. Okay, we need the two black ones over there. It might be Scrivo, yeah. I think 7 topped it. But 5 definitely was one of the best selling uh, uh, ones at some point. Uh... There we go. Exactly, Carol. It's like the Yakuza 1 dub, right? Uh, I remember clearly. I've been a fan since like 2007. When that came out... What the fuck? Why is this still on? Um, during the days of like Yakuza 3, 4-ish, people were like, Man, Yakuza 1's dub is so shit. And I'm pretty sure some people still do stand by that. But look at the amount of people that look at Yakuza 1 now and they're like, man, this is fucking hilarious, I love it. Yeah, that's Bethesda games for you. Again, not gonna lie, I think I was one of those people with Yakuza 1. I was like, man, what is Sega doing? <clears throat> oh shit. Right. I need to go back. Where did you come from? Speaking of Bethesda games, I heard that uh, some X Skyrim and Fallout devs are making a new game or something. Have you guys heard about that? Hello, zombie. Oh, damn. Uh-oh. Yo, James, how you doing? No, 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 no. Nice. Hell yeah, Scrivo. Oh no. Though, I think we're not getting that for like five years or something. Also, I wasn't on board with StarCraft. I think that's the name. But it is basically just Skyrim in space, right? The same way that Fallout is... I think you know what I mean, right? If that's the case, I might actually get StarCraft as well. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Nice, James. What do you think of the combat? I played Parasite Eve. I played the first one. I played a bit of the second one, but um, I haven't finished it.
I beat the second one. I think... Did I play the first one on stream? I can't remember. Holy shit. Fellas, I just got a sponsor email. <laughs> Have you guys heard of Opera GX? That browser? I, th I think this is not the first time they contact me. Uh, they emailed me before. And I just never got back to them. The thing is, when I wanted to, like... When I was looking into it, I heard shady stuff about it. Does anyone actually use it? How is it? Opera GX is that gamer browser, if you haven't heard of it. Um, like, not gonna lie, it did look like it had cool features, but I heard it's kinda shady. If it's reputable, well, maybe I'm gonna give it a try. Okay, how would you guys feel if... Right now, during the stream, I'm like, hey guys, it's time to sponsor Raid Shadow Legends. We're gonna have one whole hour of playing Raid Shadow Legends. No, I haven't seen those. I might... Uh, I don't think anyone can, Carol. Gamer is just a meme word now. Thank you, Black. It's good to see you again, by the way. It's been a while since I've seen you. Alright, fellas, before we get to this Nemesis fight, I would like to bring our new sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. We're gonna take an hour off of the... the game. <laughs> Man, you know, there is one sponsor that I, that I kind of regret not uh, uh, working with. I don't know if I told you guys the story, but they were like a uh, Japanese like candy snack website. Uh, basically, the deal was they would send me a box. I have to talk about it in a video or something, and that's it. Oh, lighter. Yeah, I can't remember the website's name, but I should have taken that deal. Because at least that kind of has to do with some of the content that I make, which is, you know, Japanese game, Yakuza. I can't remember their name. I don't think... Hold on. Um... Let me see if I can find them. It's called... No, wait, this is different. So I think they contacted me on two different occasions. One one time was uh, a website called Japan Code Supply. Basically, you can buy like Japanese PlayStation Store codes from them at a discount. And then... Uh, The second time, this website is called Tokyo Treat. I didn't take that uh, uh, the sponsor, but that, that's the one that I was talking about. Tokyo Treat. <clears throat> Thank you guys. I'm glad to hear that I'm your favorite Japanese streamer. I live in Japan, so I'm Japanese. <clears throat> Ink ribbon. Whatever. 
Send us a snack from Bahrain and we'll pay you. Man. I, I'd love to, but... Imagine the hassle. By the time you get your food, it's like melted. I'm quite impressed you've managed to stay alive up until now. Three guys. And you seem to be doing a pretty good job of looking out for yourself. How Nikolai! You helping out? I have no intention of helping you. Because we're nothing but pawns in all this? In a manner of speaking, you are. Our employers wanted a detailed analysis of the zombie beings. You're not thinking about it. They don't have an interaction like this in the remake. You're saying that they deliberately sent in a military unit to be butchered by their creation? I find this interesting. Not exactly. Although the conditions encountered on this operation were extreme, it was an unexpected outcome that the team would be wiped out. We were only required to collect live data from the subjects. Oh! Like, usually when they see each other in the remake, they're like at gunpoint, like one of them is pointing at the other. But here, they're like, let's have a civil conversation about what's going on. <laughs> and I don't know if that's good or not. I will save it. Yeah, Black. I have so much grenade launcher ammo. I could probably just use it and, f like, beat the game. <laughs> With just that. Uh oh. What's going on? Fellas, who enjoyed the Gravedigger and the Resident Evil show? Uh oh. <laughs> no, what? Hello? out anytime now uh oh Okay, grenade launcher time. He's just watching. The Gravedigger part in the Resident Evil Netflix show is so garbage because, like... You know, putting aside everything else, like literally everything that makes the show very questionable. The Gravedigger boss fight in the in the show. Uh you witness one of the strongest fucking cases of blood armor for the Protag. Like the worm uh like catches the Protag and it can clearly kill her. But guess what? It doesn't. Oh, hello, zombies. Run!
Okay, last area. Get ready for the flashbang, fellas. We gotta make a choice. No. That's possible, Carol. I wouldn't be surprised. Stars. Stars. Absolute unit. The Dead Factory. Carlos. <laughs> oh, this scene. Jill, listen very carefully. I'm glad we got it. They're planning on launching a missile directly into the city as soon as day breaks. The explosion will be powerful enough to destroy everything. Are you sure about that? Positive. I heard it straight from a supervisor. They'll go this far to cover their tracks? Come on, we have to hurry. There isn't much time left. Oh! Oh, never mind. It's not the slap scene. Uh, <laughs> I was waiting for a slap, if you're... If you have no idea what's going on. There's a possible scene you get where Carlos like loses all hope and he's like, Man, we're fucked, that's it, we're dead. And Jill just pew. She's like, don't give up. We can still do this. Okay, we can make Magna memo. Let's go! We have a lot of... Well, not a lot, but we have a good number of Magna memo now. 30. Okay, legit, I think we can just get by the rest of the game with the grenade launcher now. I'll use the Magna for the final boss though, probably. We're just mercenaries. Hired hands. Probably gonna save here. Oh, you mean because of the design? I don't mind it too much. I saw... Okay, wait, maybe... Oh, there we go. You don't actually have to do the whole thing. Uh-oh. froze the game for a bit, didn't it? Hmm. Yeah, fair enough. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat, Dark Master. Thank you. I think these are poisonous. Oh shit. 
Like you have the normal brain suckers and you have the poisonous one. Oh shit. Hello. No! Bro, what? Okay, I'm just gonna wait for it to come up. There's shotgun ammo, but I don't think we need the shotgun anymore. Okay, who's excited for the water puzzle? Anyone remembers that? Uh, just a second, let me check something real quick. So, how is your Wednesday going, fellas? Okay. First aid. KFC order. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, yes. Hope you had a good sleep. Uh Okay, so let's move this one. I think this is okay. Now for the for this one. Okay, so far it checks out. Let's try the blue one. Yo, nice, what's up? Uh... Okay, maybe we need to adjust the yellow one now. Uh oh. <laughs> no, I think we need to change something else. Maybe the red one. Da -da -da. Yeah, wait, let me check now. Yo! Poggers! Yeah, Dark Master. <laughs> Okay, fellas, between between 
Nude HD. Uh, the Trump bots, and who else? I think we had a third one as well, I can't remember. Oh yeah, the Bitcoin one, I think, or the, the crypto bot or whatever. Who did it best? Personally speaking, I feel like Nude HD is the most iconic so far. What about you guys? I might take this. Da -da -da. Bot tier list. Oh, yeah. Would you guys watch that? You guys already know the answers. I think. At least for Nude HD, you, you do. Uh oh. Again. How long have we spent now? We're almost done with the game, damn. Almost three hours. Uh oh. Nikolai? Nikolai? I don't know, Adrian. Since I'll be the only one who knows what really happened, I'll have more bargaining power when it comes to discussing my bonus. Then why kill me? I'm not on their payroll. Want to eliminate it for reasons of their own. The amount is modest, but there is a reward to be claimed upon the confirmation of your death. That's great. Except I have no intention of contributing to your retirement fund. Uh oh. Most cheesy line in Resident Evil? God, that's a hard one. Nice, F uh, Fude. Nice. Warning. What do you guys think is the most cheesy Resident Evil line? I think the bingo one might take the cake for me. Or the right hand one. That one is classic. <laughs> no, no thanks, bro. <laughs> okay, I need to put the ice rounds on. the yo-yo move oh hell yeah I don't think he got oh there we go
Yeah, again, I really hope 4 does a mix between uh, serious and goofy. This is a banger! Oh, hell yeah, that's a good line, Cross. <laughs> you can't kill me! It's evacuation time. Yeah, Carol. Look at the grenade launcher just go. Uh-oh. Uh, let me see if I can go get the rocket launcher. Oh wait, where did I need to put this again? I can't remember. Uh, I don't think we need it, like, you can just get by. But yeah, you can get a, get a rocket launcher if you want. Da, da, da. We don't need the lockpick anymore, do we? Okay, gonna stack up. Let's go. <sighs> oh wait, we do need to do it then. Do you guys think the suit of armor is gonna be back for Ashley? Um, Ashley is 21 as far as I remember. Was it in here? It'll make a DLC? Probably. It was somewhere here, I think, right? No? Oh yeah, there we go. Perfect. Rocket launcher. Yeah, I think we needed it for the uh, to proceed to the final room as well, but I'm not sure. I'll check. Oh, holy shit! The dodges. What? Never. Never mind. <laughs> oh no. Hope no Mike will be harmed in the remake. Yeah, Mike was a bro. Any Mike fans? للحين اي راح العب ديد بادي ليت اللعبه قصيره هذه الحين بنطق ثلاث ساعات 
Like then allowed it by the light fire. Oh the big cheese. Grenade launcher ammo, we don't need it though. Um I think we're good. Let me just save just in case. Randomizer of this game? Yeah, randomizers can get fucking bonkers, I love it. Uh oh. What do you guys think? Do we let Nikolai escape or? Actually, wait, no, never mind. He's dead. I just remembered the random option that you get sometimes. I'm here. What's up? Yo, thank you, Young, for the super chat. Thank you. Hi, baby. Thank you. The city's about to become ground zero. Hurry up! Hurry up! Don't forget to take that device with you. What does it do? That device tracks the distance of the approaching missile. Make I heard uh, RE2 Remake doesn't have a hey, solid... Bitch. Yo. Thank you. This. Just get over here. I heard uh, RE2 Remake doesn't have a solid randomizer yet. Uh, but for the classic games, there's a lot of good ones. Because the kind of randomizers that are there for RE2 Remake is the kind like... You would have to check literally every single item in the game sometimes to be able to get what, what you want. And that kind of sounds unfun. But the, the ones for the classic games, I think the way the way they work is... Um, for example, before you get to... Uh, for example, in Resident Evil 2, the original. Um, when you're in the police station, you don't find things that you need in the lab or the sewers. So that way, you kind of... Oh shit, you kind of avoid... Um, uh, like wasting a lot of time. Checking system. Checking system. Oh, you need to do it in order, right? Mm. Uh oh. Wait, let me try to fix the chat again. I don't know if it's gonna do anything, but. Oh, it's fixed! You have given the stream your blessings, Azzy. The chat now works. I'm not alone anymore! I have you guys, right here. Yeah, unfortunately you missed the karaoke. Feels bad. But hey, the VOD is gonna be available. Okay. Let me fix one more thing real quick. Battery. 
connected. Uh, here we go. Hello, Nemesis. How are you doing? Okay, I hope I'm not gonna screw myself over now by staying here. Let me try the rocket launcher. Okay. All right, Nemesis, come on. Please hit him. Oh! No, uh, it just came back. I tried to refresh the thing and it worked finally. Think. All right. Shit. He's still alive. Flashbang. Exterminate the monster. Ignore it. No. We're gonna face it. And here the iconic lion. Do it, Jill. She's gonna say the thing. She really got him with that one. <laughs> oh yeah, I just remembered. The way she says that in the remake... Just no. Over here! I think it's bugged. She's still walking. I guess we're all set. All right then, we're out of here. She do be walking. Oh, no, it's here. <laughs> it's time to go. It's time to go. Would have been sick in the remake if we also got uh, the berry ending, but we only got one ending. We still gonna hear it in the credits? Jill, you can stop walking any second now. She's not listening. When is this gonna end? Jill, he can stop walking now, come on. Really? What a nice credits theme, though. 
We did it! We beat Resident Evil 3! It's not the game, she's walking and you Yeah! I might not be safe, guys. Damn, the footsteps really enhance the music. Is anyone going to bed soon? If you hear this in your dreams, you can blame me. Have I told you guys about the karaoke stream? I got a copyright, well not a copyright email. Uh, there's another thing that sometimes YouTube does, which is basically your video gets ad restricted, so not like they can't just put any ads on it. The karaoke stream, by the way, that just people singing, literally people grabbing a mic and like going. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, after I finished the stream, I got an email saying, "Hey, dipshit, your karaoke stream is uh, ad restricted." Again, basically, basically what it means is I still make money off of it. But it's just less, um, and it could be way less, like, I, I don't know. But, uh, I appealed to have it removed, and thankfully they, they got it off without issue. But yeah, YouTube is uh, sus a lot of the time. Um, where's the music? Yeah, limited or yellow, that, that's it. You know, I got one of the most Chad uh, copyright notices the other day with Silent Hill, uh, the first one. Um, I finished the stream, and I think after I finished the stream, I got like a, an email saying, um, Hey, uh, the, the credits theme in Silent Hill is like copyright material, but it's okay. We'll share the money with you. That's like... I think the only time I ever got a copyright notice like that. There were actual chats about it. <laughs> yeah, it stopped. Grade D. Goddamn. 3 hours, 17 saves. Epilogue. Oh, please forgive me, Claire. Chris Redfield has just finished this letter with his signature phrase. As he removes his sunglasses, a lady walks by him with light steps. She looks about the same age as Claire, he thinks. A short time later, Chris discovered that his sister was looking for him, but was caught. Very nice epilogue. They could have added these in uh, Remake as well, but we can't have nice things, can we? Okay. It is Dead by Daylight time. Who wants to see Wesker killing people? Give me just a second here. You know, one cool thing about Dead by Daylight. Can you guys see it? Wait. There we go. Hold on. Okay. Listen closely. Oh, they added that on purpose for Resident Evil specifically. Uh, they did it the first time uh, Resident Evil arrived here with Nemesis, uh, Leon and Jill. And now they did it again. It's only for Resident Evil. When Resident Evil uh, like goes away and they have a new chapter, they remove this. <coughs> uh... 
Okay. Albert Wesker. Here we come. Look at RPD in the back. You know, one of the, like, when they revealed Wesker, him having a knife is so weird, but when you see him in-game, it's kind of forgivable. So, right now, he has this outfit. This is the default outfit. The Resident Evil 5 one. He looks so fucking cool in this. And then he can also buy the Star's outfit. Uh, and that's it. That's the only outfits he has right now. Look at that. Ouroboros. Okay, um... I will be back, fellas. In the meantime, you can enjoy watching Wesker do stuff. Okay. How was Wesker? Did you guys enjoy watching him? Okay, let's hope the queue times aren't too long. Also, let me increase the game volume. Because by default, I have it lowered. Listen to that theme, isn't it? Great. Uh, before we uh, do anything, I want to show you guys something else. So, Resident Evil Survivors, just the Survivors, they have a special lobby theme. Listen to it, and tell me what it reminds you of. Makes me think of um, the outbreak theme. It reminds me so much of it for some reason. So you have Sheva as a skin for Jill. There's Jill, and then there's also Claire. Bingo, someone else. Got it. They also have lobby voice lines. Uh, Leon is here. They have a Carlos skin for him, which I got. There is Chris as well. There's Leon. 
And there's default Leon. Also, something cute that they do um, every Christmas. They give them sweaters. Christmas sweaters like this. Look, it's adorable. Jill also has one. Um, and they will probably give uh, Ada and Rebecca sweaters as well this Christmas. Um, there's Ada. And there's Rebecca as well. They gave her the cowgirl outfit as a cosmetic you can buy. And of course, there's the default one. Now, there's also Hunk in this, but he's very questionable for me. There's Hunk. That kind of scared me, not gonna lie. But yeah, Hunk, uh, $15, doesn't have his own voice, doesn't have his own chase music. Fucking lame. And his animations in the actual game are kind of goofy. Uh... I don't know, I, I just... I'm, I'm mixed about it. You can buy this outfit for Ada. There's a lot of stuff, like... Oh, you know what else is lame? See this outfit? They give it to some guy... ...in DVD. But Chris doesn't get the actual outfit. <laughs> like... Why? Like... How does that make any sense? Uh... Yeah, like, th there's some questionable decisions. Overall, though, it's uh, really fun. Alright, it's Weskin time, as they say. Time to get a refund. Yeah, we Weskin. <laughs> I don't mind Billy. Like, if they added a Billy Legendary, I'd probably buy it. Um. <laughs> Thank you. The thing is, Hunk is the killer. And I don't know, like, if I would rather him be a killer or a survivor. Because almost every time we see him in Resident Evil, we do play as him. And... We're helping him do the surviving, you know? Like, Hunk isn't a good guy by any stretch of the imagination, but... Um... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, we don't have any Resident Evil survivors right now. Yeah... Maybe they're gonna incorporate, like, a top where it is a dress, and over it's the sweater. Or... Yeah, I don't know. Like, the sweater also has the dress, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, like... I do think them, in general, adding survivors that aren't... All, always, like, good people is a good idea. I mean, James from Silent Hill is one thing. James isn't good. Um, in one way, he's Pyramid Head. And yet, he's a survivor. Or at least a skin. Holy. They're generous. Basically, these two things, they multiply the points we get, everyone, in the match. I'm gonna try to go easy on them. If they're not good. If they're good, I don't need to do anything. I'll just play normally. Okay, wish me luck. Uh, let's hope I don't sweat my balls off in this match. Or rather, that I don't need to do that. Yeah, Wesker is so fun. I, I love playing as Wesker. Also, let me know what you guys think of his theme. Chris is the killer and Wesker is the survivor.
Thank you guys. Thank you. Dead by Daylight is fun. Like, it really depends a lot on you in general, how you handle online games. Online games in general can be very frustrating. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say about it. Uh, Dead by Daylight can be very stressful. I'll tell you that. Uh, like, both. When you play as Survivor and Killer. When you play as Survivor, at least solo. Look at that! We have the RPD. But yeah, when you play as Survivor, you risk having, like, bad teammates with you. In solo queue. <laughs> Look at that. We got someone hiding here. She's so confused. <laughs> Do you actually think you can defeat me? I love Wesker. <laughs> they gave him voice lines, by the way. And the thing is about this game, they don't give vo voice lines to just anyone. Do you actually think you can defeat me? Meg! <laughs> nice! Oh! Is that all Wait, what? Have? Oh, okay. That's oh, that was weird. <laughs> oh! Yeah, Dead by Daylight at this point is like the Smash Bros of horror. Like, it has so many uh, different characters. There's Silent Hill, Resident Evil, Halloween. Nightmare on Elm Street. So many franchises. Oh, I hear someone. <laughs> Just getting started. So basically, um, no, I don't think they have Sega stuff yet. Um, like, yes, Wesker does have a knife, but his second ability is so fun. And very Wesker-like. You can use this to either lunge at survivors or, like, make... Uh, distance. Playtime is over. Playtime is over. I said it before, but man, if they add like a Yakuza Death Souls chapter, I would buy that. But let's be real, it's not gonna happen. Accept your fate. <laughs> the mind games. <laughs> Wait, what? Shouldn't that have hurt her? I expected more 
from you. The Mori? I should have brought the offering. I don't have it right now. So what do you think of the chase music? Yeah, I love how Wesker just shit talks them. <laughs> oh, there's someone outside. <laughs> oh, I missed! Gently vaults. <laughs> Welcome back. Okay, I guess I'll check on the main hall. <laughs> oh shit. Hello! <laughs> Drop it, do it! <laughs> has even better lines like there's one where i think if he downs someone or something he's like poor performance indeed just like the one from resident evil 5 love it who's here <laughs> i see you Oh shit! <laughs> no! <laughs> Too bad. Look at that! Typewriter! That's a motherfucking Resident Evil reference. <laughs> There's a lot of cool details. I'll see you dead. There's a lot of co cool details around the map. <laughs> I thought this was Resident Evil 3. Yeah, we finished the game. Um, at the beginning of the Resident Evil 3 run, people said that, well, or, well people were talking about Resident Evil, uh, the DLC for Dead by Daylight, and I was like, hey, what if I actually play that? Would you guys want that? Another roast. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, someone... Oh, someone didn't want to take the loss. They disconnected. Like, it makes no sense with this game. If you made it this far, just... Take the L. Basically, for context, if you disconnect at any point of the game, you don't get any points. And that person who just died on the hook... Uh... Like, they, they died, that's it. And then they decided to disconnect before the game was over for them. So they get no points. It just goes to show that even if you don't try to be toxic at all, people still disconnect or find something to be salty about. What a banger though, that team. Hello, Mick. Trust me, I have my moments where I get angry. <laughs> it's just right now, the team that I'm facing aren't exactly <laughs> good. Hey, true? Wesker is being toxic. True. <laughs> you will not live to see the dawn. the hell? Oh! Okay, we have an exit there, and we have the front one. So basically, if you know nothing about this game, I should have said it earlier, but... The survivor's goal... What the... What are you doing there? <laughs> Uh, survivors have to repair generators to be able to escape, and you have to stop them. Uh oh. I'm a noob! I took a water break, don't- oh shit. Oh, whoops. I took a water break, don't worry. <laughs> so basically, this ability he has with Ouroboros, it works as an attack and also a dash. So, they, I think they did a good job incorporating, like, different aspects of Wesker in this game. Holy shit, 100,000. Oh yeah, there were two offerings. Look at that disconnect. Shameful. Yeah, the Wesker run uh, was a bit goofy for me as well at the, at the start. You don't want to see how Hunk runs, though. That is, uh, questionable. <laughs> okay, let's take the star's outfit now. Uh, by the way, th there is stuff in this game called add-ons. Basically, uh, you put them on to help you get certain effects and maybe make the ma match easier for you. So, the cool thing about this is that the add-ons in this game, they're all like... Well, maybe not all of them, but basically items in the games. So, look at this. A golden egg. Maiden medallion from Resident Evil 2. A portable safe, also from Resident Evil 2. Um, chalice. I think this is from Resident Evil 5. A treasure item. They have a lot of cool stuff here. Also this, the lab photo from Resident Evil 1. Yakuza 3 run. He has the Naruto run. <laughs> okay, please, Resident Evil survivors, anyone? By the way, if someone knew Killer Sucks, fellas, I think they just insulted me. 
They just said Wesker sucks. I'm killing this person. <laughs> oh, look at him. Badass. Yeah, Pyramid Head is a bit tricky. You have to be good with predicting where the survivor is gonna go. So, we don't have any Resident Evil survivors again. No, unfortunately, Matthias. Though, there is something cool. Um, if you, like, chase down Chris as Wesker, he has special lines for him. No, Marcelo, he can't kill the killer. You can slow him down, like, by pallets or using a flashlight to blind him, but you can't actually kill the killer. Yeah, Wesker just saw that name and he's like... <laughs> you can kill the killer if you make the player leave, true. Oh, it's not Raccoon City this time. Okay, where do we go? <laughs> They're teabagging! <laughs> is that who I think it is? Where the hell? Am I blind? Oh, never mind. I think this is this is her, guys! <laughs> No killer sucks. First person to get chased. <laughs> Shit! I fucked up. Oh! Seven minutes is all I can spare to play with you. He said the thing! They're not wiggling either. Okay, you're going to the basement for that name. You dare insult my boy Wesker? Uh oh. They disconnected! <laughs> Bro. Okay. <laughs> mm. She can go here. Just getting started. Yeah, that's another thing about this game. Uh, if you play Survivor, it depends a lot on who you're playing with if you want to win. So you're gonna get pissed a lot if you play solo. I kind of feel bad for them, like, it wasn't fair for that person to disconnect. I might farm with them, if they understand me. Sorry. <laughs> right, so if you don't have, like, a wall, um, he's gonna throw them, just like that.
They're committing to this generator of respect. <laughs> no! <laughs> the fact that he can bypass pallets is so good. Performance indeed. He said the thing. I love that he has voice lines in this game. Because usually killers don't say anything, they're just silent. Oh, who's here? Show yourself. Oh, hello! Love it, dude. <laughs> He's so fun to play. <laughs> Where the hell is the third person? They're not helping the other guy. kind of goofed up. She has a perk that reveals her own aura, but she also sees me. Maybe here? <laughs> I shall release Wait, what? Buros. Hey, I didn't get my damage from that. you go. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you dead. He wants to see them dead. I have to listen to him. <laughs> Um... <laughs> uh, for those that play this game, how many hours do you have? I played this game so fucking much, like... Can you guys try to guess how many hours I have in the game? Just take a guess. Two thousand plus five hundred, two thousand five hundred thirty-five. That's pretty uh, specific. Three thousand, two thousand, seven hundred, any other numbers? Zero. For real, for real. Um, 25, 5,000. Jeez! <laughs> 500 or 300. Okay. 
Uh, I think I was playing this game since 2018, if I remember right. So, four years at this point. Uh, and, man, when I first played it, I was hooked. Like, I used to play it all the time. Like, it was the one game that I just kept playing. It's addicting. If you're thinking of getting into this, it's addicting. Uh, today, I have... I think almost 4,500 hours in the game. Again, like, I, I got hooked on this game for a while. I still, you know, enjoy it. Alrighty, Jade. <laughs> We had the Leon, right? Yeah, um... It's so weird, like... There's games like Skyrim, for example. I think I have, like, a total of maybe a thousand hours on that game. I used to just sit down and play Skyrim, like, all day. Literally all day. I just can't do it anymore. I do have games where I just can't sit for a while and play them. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Poor <laughs> performance indeed. I feel so bad for him. Seven he wanted to drop the pallet on me, but I was blocking, like, the input. Have anyone down here? Oh. <laughs> Leon. <laughs> Playtime. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> David is still down there, I can hear him. Oh. <laughs> what are you still doing here, David? Meg, we need to talk. <laughs> nice touch. <clears throat> no, I don't think I do. Someone else. That all you have. Shit, that, that was a whoopsie. Just get started. He's using the first aid. <laughs> hey, <Leon. laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
Is anyone thinking of getting into this game, by the way? For those that never played this. <laughs> Do oh, what? You actually think you can defeat me? <laughs> you disappoint me. Is that the best you get? I'll see you dead. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, you see him? You see them? <laughs> oh, bro. Just accept your fate. <laughs> uh, this is Leon's last hook, right? I might leave him. Where did David go? There he is. Yeah, his theme is so good. <laughs> Man, uh... I'm tempted to buy Hunt, but... It's $15, basically. I don't know. Favorite killer? Before Wesker, I'm probably going to get shit for this, but uh, Trickster. To me, he's always been fun to play. And I like the guy. I played uh, Trickster. Used to play Deathslinger, Michael Myers. But mostly Trickster. Yeah, that's the one someone else. <laughs> Ever played Legion? Yeah? I think I played all of the killer ones. <laughs> <laughs> I think I played all of the killers at least once. <laughs> Man, I keep forgetting to bring Wesker's like special kill, basically, the Mori. I wanted to show that. Leon! Leon! <laughs> oh, nice. So, I'm gonna play one more match after this, you guys let me know. Do you want to see Wesker and the special kill that he has? Or do you want to see the Hanjun Gi look alike? You will not.
Oh, hello. No damage. Too bad you won't make it much further. Oh yeah, I think I've seen that one. I tire of wasting my time with you. Trying to sign a pact with her. Come on, it's okay. I won't kill you. Come on. You can trust me, bro. Totally. Come on. Let's go. I'll give you the hatch. No, come back! Come, follow me. See? It's okay. Okay, follow me. Come on. Oh, she has a challenge. Um, for context, for those who have never played this, usually what sometimes killers do, they kill three people and then they give the last one the escape. Uh, just out of courtesy. Um, when you're the last survivor left, you can give them something called the hatch. Basically a free escape. That doesn't involve, you know, needing to do every generator. And right now, we're looking for the hatch, so we can get her to escape. Oh, she wants to. <coughs> if I let her do this, she basically gets points. So, if you, like, if you want to farm as a killer, you can let them stun you on purpose. Okay, come on, let's find the hatch for you. Oh. What is she doing? Come on, let's go. Where's the damn hatch? I'm not gonna kill her. This is not betrayal. I'm just gonna carry her with me to look for the hutch. She's not listening. Where is the hutch? There it is. True. The thing is, I didn't even know where it was. Come on, go.
اقول لك هات اوكي ويل ام جونا جست بلاي وان مور ماتش where you guys can be uh, where you guys can see a special animation for Wesker basically every killer has a special kill animation but you have to use a certain item to be able to do it here we go oh wait meh I'll do it later so how's your Wednesday going what did you guys have to eat <laughs> What are the requirements to unlock that item? Basically, just level up here. This is what they call the blood web. Uh, you get your like perks, offerings, uh, add-ons. Everything is in here. Though it's RNG, like what shows up on your blood web, so I might have to level up quite a bit. Hey, I have 4,000 hours in the game. I played for a while. انت لعبتها يونغ؟ I'm gonna use the default outfit love it uh oh our guest of honor is back cinnamon toast crunch nice I need to order something as well <laughs> Allah, Ajib. Uh oh, these look like decent survivors. Maybe. Maybe. Because basically, this number you see next to them, that's prestige. So this person has prestige 14 on this character, prestige 10, 7, 3. Oh. Claudette. <laughs> Let's use this, I guess. Why not? So these guys could give you some trouble. Yeah, maybe. The thing is, it's not always guaranteed, because, like, you can meet people who look threatening. Like, they have, I don't know, Prestige 15 or whatever. Oh! Our two map offerings. Uh, so yeah, you have like got, uh, players who like played for a while, maybe you have like a thousand, two thousand, four thousand hours, and when you see them play, it's like, are we sure this person has four thousand hours and not ten hours? It's always like uh, possible. You never know. There is always this like RNG factor to this game in many ways. The players you meet, uh, the the map layout sometimes. <clears throat> okay, let's hope we can at least show the special animation once. If we can do that we would have uh, achieved our goal. Yeah, it depends on a lot of things, Carol. Depends on, like, how they play in general. Some people don't like helping people. They're, they're just like that. Oh, RPD. And then you have people who go in to finish challenges, for example, so that they might not care about other teammates. There's a lot of, like, factors, I feel like. <laughs> nice! Shit. <laughs> wow, 
What? There was no wall! This game, I swear to god. Let me put you on the hook, gently. <laughs> RNG wall, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Pess. Hey, let's go. Now, tell me, Jed, what the hell are you guys? I could have sworn I heard something. Nice. Wait, what? Oh, hello. <laughs> Nice! <laughs> did you see what they did? Oh, I thought they did it again. You'll pay for that! You'll pay for that! <laughs> Excuse me? She dropped the pallet, but I also... What? Okay. Man, <laughs> Wesker is interesting. Who is in here? Okay, I'm sorry. She was... She was the only one in my way. I don't know where the other Claudette went to. Vaults, please work. Oh, shit. I messed it up. عادي يا اخي احس حتى لو تلعب بطريقة نظيفة بعد بيرك واحد يعصب للاسف يعني تصير طيب ما تصير طيب ما تفرق احس والله ديد هارت سو اي ثينك وي هاف سم ون اون ذا لاست هوك ذا اذر كلارت Yeah, so now we have not super super, I guess, good players, but decent players. Let's go! Okay, I think we can kill two people now. If we get them. 
Oh, hello. I'm gonna assume someone's already here. They kinda save quickly. No. Oh, hello. I don't think I can kill this one yet. Yeah, I know. Hey, that's a lot. That's it. That shit's so bad. Oh. <laughs> no, I missed. Oh shit, we got her. Okay. The kill animation. I'm gonna go somewhere nice and clean so we can watch the thing. Hopefully this is it. Okay, watch. Let's finish this. Oh. What do you think? What the hell? Yes, what do you want? <laughs> See, when someone's trying to distract you, you can be confident that they're not doing a generator at least. So it's actually good for you. Might be annoying, but you get used to it. Okay, here's the second one. Oh wait, we can't do it yet. My bad, my bad. So, the other two people we can kill, but not this one. But we should be able to kill her after she gets unhooked. Who's here? <laughs> yes, I'm here, what do you want? <laughs> uh oh what oh she wants to see the mori maybe okay <laughs> let's finish this I love how basically every survivor punches Wesker. <laughs> Wait, is she not gonna help her? Really? Well. Okay. Maybe she did, yeah. <laughs> okay, well. find the hatch she might have found it yeah that was a good game at least we got to show the Mori like twice okay fellas well um we managed to finish Resident Evil 3 and uh, I thought it was it would have been nice to show the new Dead by Daylight DLC where Wesker is a killer and there's Resident Evil Survivors as well. This was fun. Um, thank you guys so much for joining. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to stream tomorrow. I'm going to stream after tomorrow. Tune in after tomorrow. Uh, we might do... Either The Evil Within 2. Or maybe Silent Hill 2. We'll see. But yeah, you guys take care. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And I'll see you after tomorrow on Friday. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.